Vogue 1906 is the pattern I want to make next and I want to make this shorter dress here. As you can see there is an overlay on the dress and I want to make an alteration to the pattern. The overlay consists of two pattern pieces. You have a front overlay and then you have a back overlay. And what I want to do is to make the overlay go at an angle rather than having it come all the way down the shoulder. To begin, I took some knit mesh fabric that I had in my scrap box and I made a muslin of just the overlay portion of the dress. I tried the muslin on and decided I wanted the overlay to come down about 5 inches off my shoulder. I took the muslin and marked 5 inches down from the shoulder and measured from that mark down to the hem and then I made a diagonal line and cut along the line. I put the muslin on the dress form just to see how it looked. Here's the front and here's the back. Next, I put the overlay pieces on top of each other and taped them down to the cutting mat. Then I put the muslin on top of the overlay pieces and I used a ruler to draw the diagonal line directly onto the sewing pattern. I moved the muslin out of the way and you can see the line that was drawn. Then I cut through that diagonal line. Now I will take this away and these two pieces will be my new pattern pieces that I will cut out of the fashion fabric. And this will be the overlay for the front and the back. My fabric is all nice and clean. I am using this rib knit fabric that I purchased from Joanne Fabrics. It came in several different colors and I'm almost ready to sew. I just need to tidy up my room. Mostly the floor. The floor is full of fabric. My trash needs to be taken out and I just want to take care of all this before I get started on this dress. This pattern is rated as easy and I think I'm going to try to use my serger for most of the seams. So I love when I can do that. Right now I'm pinning the left shoulder together and then after the left shoulder is sewn then you go down and sew the side seams. The sleeve has basting stitches around the top half of the cap and then you sew it in and this is how it's looking so far. Here is the overlay. So this will be your neckline. This is the part that will hang off the shoulder. So I'm going to sew this side up and then I will also sew that side up. So it looks like the overlay is supposed to be hemmed. I noticed there aren't any directions indicating to go ahead and hem the overlay. There are directions on hemming the sleeves and also hemming the bottom of the dress. So my overlay is complete and if I decide to hem it, I guess I can hem it at this point and for me that would be hemming along this straight edge here and then up along the side. I just attached the overlay to the top of the dress and I made sure not to use my serger because you have to create a casing and you have elastic that will go through the casing in the neckline area. Then you also have elastic that will go around the top of one of the sleeves. I've just finished putting the elastic in the top of this sleeve here and now I'm going to attach it to the armhole in the dress. When I was cutting the pattern out, I did lengthen the hem of the dress by an inch and as far as the overlay, I decided not to hem it. 